Ladies and gentlemen, last but not least, it's time for detectives, so please show attention. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mohammed, and I will be presenting our project for the Technical University of Denmark. Our team is called Detect Us. I'll be presenting during the next five minutes a novel solution using nanotechnology, using the already existing platform of a glucometer to measure the entry probe BMP, biomarker for heart stress. Now, a little bit about a heart. The heart, as you know, symbol for love, subject to many songs, longing hearts, hopeful hearts, broken hearts, and broken hearts, well, is one of the biggest killer, unfortunately. On the top one and two of the WHO chart of the biggest killers is both ischemic heart disease and stroke. 15 million people are dying of these causes. And in Europe, where we are really good with healthcare, it's a little less, 3.9 million. Now, that means one in 10 person. That's quite a lot when you think about it. So what does this mean? It's all over. It all ends with a diagnosis and there's a, you don't have any options. Like this guy looking at the ship, just thinking, hmm, how could I avoid it that this ship landed at the land? Well, if he had knowledge about how the ship worked and the signals, he could have potentially avoided it. And the signal, the distress signal, is mayday. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Well, it seems like the heart also has a distress signal. We call it NG. Pro BMP, and we can measure on this. It's actually the best evidence biomarker for heart stress. It's reliable, but what many teams I noticed haven't taken account on is that it's also very variable. We have day-to-day -day variations depending on what you're doing of physical activity and your diet. So we would have to use this device that we developed to establish a baseline level throughout a week of our personal levels of NT Pro BMP because going to a hospital for one time measurement just won't cut it. How will we do this? We have a triple threat here, our detectors device. It consists of a small low cost chips using nanotechnology and nanowires. We have an adapter which we put the chip inside and then we have an application, the interface, the user interface. Well, how about some pictures? These are the chips. We can manufacture them in high quantities and with high accuracy. Then we have the adapter, the electronics. This is our prototype. Of course, we will make it very smaller when we get to R&D, research and development. And then we have a smartphone app. This is Selgin holding the app. This is me holding the app. Works like this, color coding. Oh, and then this is how we monitor. Apply a blood droplet on the small blue dot on the chip, put the chip inside the adapter and get the result on the smartphone app. Then in addition to that, we have also, uh, you can also send these results to your GP so he can monitor and check for large variances in your NG Pro BMP levels. You have a history over all your measurements and you can take the necessary step yourself and take control. Now, the benefits. As I went over, it's easy to use. You could use it on the go. You sit on the tennis court when you go to on vacation. It's very small. You get intuitive results. Green, safe. Yellow, you're on the boundary. Red, well, you better watch out. And it's automatic calibration. You don't need to do anything but put the chip inside the measurement device, 
and wait. And the chips are disposable because of they are so, so low cost. And you can return to a life of normalcy away from the hospitals, which is really important for us to prioritize. And yes, we can potentially save life. And this is also due to the very efficient and quick way of getting measurements. It only takes 30 seconds, as you can see on our screen here. And you will, in addition to that, save the doctor's time, the hospital's time, all the administration involved, and your own time. So you get to empower yourself by taking back control over your disease. So this is our mission. We are monitoring indicators of the heart to save time and lives of the people. Any questions? All right, folks, no questions? All right, you'll have them in the future. I, I believe you will see this on the market because due to the intuitive uh, and, and low cost way of producing these chips, we're really uh, ambitious about this. So vote for us, please. We're called Detectors from Denmark, the Technical University of Denmark. Thank you.